Good morning, friends. Our Easter Sunday sermon comes from John chapter 20, verse 19, until the end of the chapter. You are more than welcome to read it on your own at home. In this scripture, we meet a biblical figure that has had a profound influence on Christianity all over the world, not least of in India. But we don't always remember him for that. We rather remember him for his lack of faith. When Jesus appears to the disciples, Thomas is not there. And when they tell him they saw Jesus, he replies that he will never believe unless he can see Jesus for himself and touch the wounds. Many times our faith corresponds to this of Thomas. We do not believe until we see. Only when we see can faith be part of our lives. That becomes the motto of our lives. If we cannot see, we cannot believe. But friends, when we read through this piece of scripture, it's not so much about Thomas and his inability to believe that Jesus has appeared to the disciples. It's much more about Jesus' response to Thomas's lack of faith. After he appeared, only to the eleven disciples, he later also appears where Thomas is present. And three times in the piece of scripture we have read, we hear Jesus say, Peace be with you. Peace be with you. I think that small phrase is a very important phrase to understand and unlock the meaning of this piece of scripture. I want to tell you a story about the gospel in Japan. Around about the 1600s, there was a, a missionary with the name Ferrara that went to Japan to bring the good news to the Buddhist in Japan. There is a film even made about him. The film's name is Silence. And in this film, there is a scene where Ferrara is hanging from his feet with his head in the ground, in a hole in the ground. They have cut a little a cut in his neck, and from that cut, he is bleeding drop for drop for drop. And the Japanese soldiers are trying to convince him to stample on Jesus. The first hour went well, but by the sixth hour, Ferrara had excruciating pain. And at a point, he just gave in and he screamed out, I will stamp on Jesus, I will stamp on Jesus. They freed him. And for the next 20 years, 
Ferrara became a missionary for the Buddhists. And with the authorities, he persecuted the Christians. His freedom cost him his faith. Then, when he reaches the age of around about 70, he once again finds Jesus. And this time when he is hung upside down, he does not capitulate, but goes through to the end and dies an excruciating death for his faith in Jesus. When I read the story, I wondered by myself, how would I fare? Will I not also like Ferrara? Capitulate and give my faith away because I would rather live? And what about you? It's not always easy to live the life of faith, my friends. As Ferrara became the poster boy of Buddhism and later converted again, we find ourselves also in many situations where we are asked to stand up for our faith and profess it without fear or favor. But as a Thomas and a Ferrara, it is sometimes much easier to profess if I do not see Jesus, I cannot believe. Luckily, friends, God does not look at us and, and he does not examine our lives in terms of our faith per se because our faith or lack of faith does not have the last say over our lives as we find out with Thomas The story of Jesus does not end at the cross, but it actually starts only when Jesus is risen from the, the grave. Only then can Jesus come to us in our little faith and say to us, peace be with you. The word for faith in the Jewish language, Hebrew, uh, Hebrew language, is shalom, which has far more to do with wholeness rather than the absence of conflict. So when Jesus says to Thomas and the other disciples, my peace be with you, he actually is saying, my dear beloved friend, I know your struggles. I know how difficult it is in the face of danger and persecution to live your faith. Peace be with you. Let's pray together. Lord, we thank you for your undying love. We thank you that you have chosen us to be your disciples. And as you sent the disciples out 2,000 years ago, as the Father sent you, you are sending us as well. And the cost 
for being faithful to you may be very expensive. It may cost us our lives. Make us faithful and may your peace always be with us. Amen. Thank you, friends. Have a wonderful day.